check out this shift dress this is for beginners it has a pocket and then it has a back slate with the button please ensure to watch the video to the end it has a front slate as well this is Joydala Fashion Guide. You are welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be making a shift dress. So I've cut out my fabric. To know the amount of fabric to put on fold, use the hip measurements. Hip divided by four, then you add extra inches so that about three or four inches depending on the amount of fabric that you have i'm making use of two yards of fabric so i'm folding into four this is for the front and then this is for the back so i'll be using here as my starting line this line on the fabric I'll go ahead and increase the shoulder measurement, half of the shoulder. And then come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. For the neck, we to make use of three and a half. Then for the back neckline, we're making use of one inch. And then for the front, make use of um, mark four inches. But it's going to have an opening as well. An opening of three inches. Going to have a slit of three inches. So this is for the back, the back neckline, and then this is for the front neckline. The round neck. So I connect the shoulder slants. And also mark the shoulder seam allowance. So from this shoulder, I'm going to mark the vertical measurement. The shoulder to the bust line. Shoulder to waist. Then from the waist we get our hip eight inches. And then we have the full length of the dress plus same allowance. So whatever I've marked in, I'm just repeating this way so I can have a straight line. I just roll my lines. So this is the bust line. This is the waist line. And then this is the hip line. So from the bust line, you can go up by two inches to get the chest line. Okay. 
the arm of death is 7.5. So this is the chest line, this is the bust line, the waist line, the hip line, and then the full length. So I just connect the arm bodex, mark the half of the shoulder measurement here so that I can have a straight line. And then you get half of the of the ample depth. So on this chest line, I'll impute a bust circumference divided by four. And because it's a free dress, we'll be adding ease to that. So I'll be marking with the back ample first. So this is the ample length of the back. And then for the front, we we'll come in by half inch and reconnect that. So this is for the front. This is for the back, and then this is for the front. So on the bust line, to impute the bust circumference divided by four. And then I'm going to be adding two inches for ease and then one inch for seam so on the waistline we put in our waist circumference divided by four we also add our ease allowance and our seam allowance And then on the hip line, we we'll impute the hip circumference divided by four. Then we put in the ease allowance, and then the same. So I'll just use here like that. Okay. So just connect. The weight, the hip to the waist. And then the waist to the bust. So we don't want any sharpness here, so just blend it out. So we are sure with our marking now to cut it out. It's a very simple dress. This is for beginners. So I'll cut with the back neckline first. And then the ample. So we'll be using this for our pockets. So 
So we're going to separate the back part and then continue with the front. And I'll just quickly show you where to position the pocket. The pocket will go between the waist and the hip. Between here and there. It's going to be on it like this. Okay, so you just notch the waistline. Going to be on it like this. So, this is the front neckline. So, we'll complete the neckline and the armhole. the apple and then have a slit of three inches open and then I'm going to cut facing for the front pattern. We we'll use this to cut facing for it. Fold this into two like this. Here should be correspond to this center. Place it like this and then you cut out the neckline. So that is for the front pattern. And then for the back pattern, we are going to have an opening at the back so that we'll be able to wear it because there will be no zipper. So I measured, I had here one inch before, so I'll make it eight inches. So I have seven inches extra. So I'll just cut here open. And then I'll use this as a bias strip to tidy the neckline. Here and then here. So for the sleeve, just use your basic sleeve pattern to draft it. So you can put half of the Half of the shoulder measurements, get the red points, just watch what I'm doing, this is the cap height, mark cap height.
o Pai ser o seu Pai ser o servo e o ego é o servo that is five and a half so I just mark, mark six and then add one and a half inch for C it is a free shirt we are not going to be using our exact armhole length we'll be adding half inch to that so instead of nine i'll be using nine and a half so i'll be using here okay so that is all for the cotton Adding a plain design on top here. So I'll cut it out and show you the fabric we are using for that. It's going to be on it here. It's going to be one and a half inch wide. So that is all for the cutting. So to sew. We use the facing to turn the neckline of the front. I'll do that to show you what it looks like. And then for the back, we use a strip to tidy the neckline. We cut the strip. So on the right side. So Fix it like this. And then I'll stitch to this side. Then we we'll stitch here. To make it easier for you, you can sew this V part first. You sew here first and then end with this piece. Then you can also use cotton bias to do this. Okay, but I want to use the strip from the fabric. So I'm going to cut it like cotton bias and then iron it. So I'll show you what it looks like. This is our sleeve. I fold in half inch towards the right side because we are going to be adding this. So I've already folded, use iron to fold it down like this. So the width of this is uh, two inches. Okay, so before I cut it, I cut with three and a half, so you can make three inches is also fine. So I'll take this folded edge. For beginners, this is this is the way you should do it so to make it easy for you. And then I'm going to stitch it. I'll place it like this. So this right side against the right side. So I'll take it like this. So I'm going to sew down. So when I'm true, I will now flip it to the front. When I'm true, I will now flip it to the front like this. And I'll stitch. I will also top stitch here. Okay, I will repeat the same for the other sleeve. I'll show you what it looks like. And then for 
the back piece, this is what we have. I've joined the back and I had a journey here. So this is what the back looks like. So for the neckline, iron interfacing on the neckline. And then I have cut out a strip and then to make it easier for me, I've used iron to fold it in like this. So that it will be like a bias. So to sew, I'll start from the right side. Then I'll start from this point. This one that looks like a V. So you just take one edge like this. So the folded edge will serve as a guide when you are sewing. So I'll stitch like this. Once it gets here, I fold it like this. And then I continue to this side. Then I cut off the excess. Okay. So after that, I'm still going to use this to sew here the, the round part. Okay. And then when I'm through, it's on it like this. I'm going to flip it inside like this. And then I'll on the stitch so that it will relax. Let me use the paint to paint and show you what I mean. So I'm going to also fold it like this and continue this way. Then after that, I'm going to fold this in like this, like this, and then I will under stitch and I'll fold this down part. I don't want stitch to show you, so I'm going to be hemming. But after stitching like that, I will show you what it looks like. And then I will also do the same thing to this neckline. Okay. I will also take the strip like this, place it on it like this. Like this. Because this is a curvy part, I will notch it. And then also flip it to inside i will on the stitch i will leave the other part i'm going to be hemmy so that the stitch will not show here so that is for the back piece and then for the front piece This is the neckline, and then I've ironed gum stay on the side. So this is the facing. This is the facing. I've used iron to fold this side down on the edge. So I'll be turning it to the right side like this. And I'll place this on it like this. So I'll stitch this slit first before I'll stitch the curved part. I'm going to be stitching with 0 0.25 and then I will notch this curvy part so that I'll be able to flip it inside. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. What the back look like after sewing? I'm going to be hemming. I'm going to be hemming it down so that the same line does not show here. So I'll go ahead now and also sew this round part. 
place it on it like I explained before. I'll stitch here, flip it. I'll notch it first before flipping to the other side. So this is it. After sewing the neckline, this is for the front. So I'm going to be joining the shoulders. Place it on it like this. And then I sew in the sleeve. So this is the sleeve. I'm going to use the white shirt, the matching shirt to stitch it down. After that, we attach the sleeve. The sleeve. So when cutting your sleeve, ensure to make the armhole length longer so that it can get to the side of the dress. We are almost through. So I'll be hemming here later. Hem the back neckline. And then for the front facing, I'll use the hemming glue. But we'll have to interlock the shoulder first. After which she use the hemi glue to iron it down like this. Okay. So the next thing will be to join the side. So you just put it together like this. And trim off the excess you have to. And then so with the seam allowance I have left, I've left the seam allowance of about one and a half inches. So I'll sew it one and a half inches on both sides. After that, I'll attach the pockets. So for the pockets, from the shoulder, I'm going to measure to the waistline. I'm using 17 and a half. Pocket will be around here. I marked the pocket before, but I have to trim the size, so I have to remark again. So when attaching the pocket, this is the right side, right side. Place right side against for this right side like this, and then right side against right side like this. So stitch here down. After stitching, you come like this. So we we'll run a stitch from here into the pocket and out again and then we'll lose the initial stitch that is here so we're going to weave everything around we weave the down and then we fold the down twice and that will be all i'll show you the final look on the mannequin this is joy dala fashion here is the final look of our shift dress this is Jedala Fashion Guide. It has pockets and then we have put in the button. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, share my video. This is Jedala Fashion Guide.